Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand process control block in operating system. The concept of process state has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what is meant by process control block? Process control block is a data structure that stores the information of a process so the processes that are executing in a multi programming environment so some information regarding each and every process will get maintained so that uh, that that block of data about the process is what we call it as process control block so let's try to understand this concept in detail by using the same diagram which we are using from the last five to six videos so here in our in this environment three processes are running p1 p2 and p3 for example if p1 so let's assume that let's assume that p1 p2 and p3 are in the ready state or on the memory now for example if p1 is running is in the running state means the instructions of the p1 are transferred from uh, from the main memory to the cpu and instruction by instruction the process p1 is getting executed so in the process for example the coin uh, the time quantum for the p1 has been completed now what happens the next process will get executed so uh, it has to give room the p1 has to stop its execution and p1 p2 has to get executed now as P, p2 has to get executed so what what are the things that we need to remember regarding the p1 is for example if 10th 10th instruction is getting executed while executing this instruction p1 wants to get into the running state now what we what we have to do is at which instruction we have stopped our execution so the next instruction the details about the next instruction has to be remembered because as we, as the p1 come back again from ready state to the running state so we need to know which instruction has to be executed okay so that is the reason why we we need to remember certain kind of attributes of the process as we are in the multi programming environment multiple programs are getting executed simultaneously so that is the reason why we need to maintain a, a data structure for uh, the details of the process which is what we call it as a process control block okay so now uh, and so the the detail that need to be maintained is the the next instruction to be executed is 11 okay so that is one of the attribute of the process control block so there are different types of attributes that are to be that are maintained that the attributes contained in the process control block are process number process state program counter priority registers list of open files and list of open devices these are just some of the process uh, some of the attributes of the process control block very important uh, attributes of the process control block there are many other different types of uh, attributes of the process control block now we will try to understand one uh, each and every attribute process number every process that are getting executed that are there in the ready state every processes which are getting executed will be given a unique number so that unique number is what we call it as process number or process id and the next one is process state in which state the process is now so at that particular point of time in which state the process is if we change from one state to another state this particular attribute of the process control block will be changed okay so the which state for example if you are in the wait state wait state okay that is that is what the process state means so the process state of the process has to be maintained and it will get maintained in the process control block the next one is program counter program counter means this one for example if at the uh, in the 10th instruction we have shifted from running state to ready state so the next instruction to be executed after coming back for the execution is 11th instruction so that is what we call it as program counter so that program counter has to be maintained and the next one is priority of the process every process will have a priority based upon that the preference is given for that process to get uh, to uh, to get shifted from ready state to the running state so that priority has to be maintained and the next one is the resistors 
so these are all the general purpose resistors as we are shifting from ready state to the uh, running state to the ready state so the details that are there in the resistors so for for executing the instructions we need to maintain certain variables we need to maintain certain values of the variables so those details will get stored in the resistors as we are moving as we are moving from running state to the ready state uh, so we need to maintain the details that are there at that particular point of time in all the resistors that we have around the cpu so uh, the values in those resistors has to be maintained so that is where uh, this, this is the this is where the details of the resistors will get maintained that is the details of the general purpose resistors will get maintained and the next one is list of open files while the programs are getting executed they will execute they will open certain other kind of files other files will get opened so the list of files that are opened by this process has to be maintained and also list of open devices the devices that are opened by this particular process has has to be maintained for example if you are working on a word document if you try to print that word document so it is going to open a printer so the details of the list of devices that are opened by this process has to be maintained so that is one of the attribute okay so these are all the attributes that are maintained in the process control block hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching